Hi everyone, this is BrioBoy2009, and welcome to Episode 1 of Furnace Carton Atlantic Locomotive Showcase. Before I start, I just want to say a great big thank you to everyone who has been part of my YouTube channel for 500 subscribers. This is coming out as my 500 subscriber special, and I can't thank you guys enough. And so, to celebrate the occasion, I am launching a new series that is going to go over any locomotive and every locomotive operating on my own Railroads Online save, the Furnace Cart in Atlantic Railroad. Now, as this is a first time, and the first episode of the show, I think it's only fair to start with engine number one, Betsy the Porter. Seeing as this save is built upon Pine Valley, the original Railroads Online map, Betsy has been the starting locomotive, and has been since the game's release. So I figured I'd talk a little bit more in depth about her, so let's begin. First of all, a little bit of technical explanations on Betsy's origins. In the wiki, she is listed as the Porter BS-8 Ton. Her wiki description reads, quote, the Porter 040ST is modeled after an 8-ton Porter Type B, one of Porter's, that's HK Porter Company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, popular models for narrow gauge and industrial operations. The engine, known by many as Betsy in-game, is useful for negotiating tight curves on a tight budget, though it lacks strength and firewood capacity, making it useful for shorter runs. This model was used at the Lackawanna Iron and Steel Company, as well as engine number one of the Antelope and Western. It was also used in logging operations, quarries, and other industrial sites due to its small size. Betsy runs on firewood, has a top speed of 16 miles an hour, a tractive effort of 2,870 pounds, and a weight of 15,944 pounds, or roughly 8 tons, hence her name. A little bit of backing story as to why exactly her name is, well, Betsy. The creator of Railroads Online, Stefan Kelnberger, who just so happens to be the man my town of Kelnberger there is named after, originally thought of what to name the porter, and initially settled on the name Bertha, which was a big name used for big and heavy machines. An example of this in the locomotive world being Big Bertha which was a big, heavy o 10 locomotive that worked on the Licky Incline in Britain. She then thought, I mean, he, he then, uh, he then thought up the name Betty, as in Betty Boop, as he saw it a little bit more Americanized. But then he thought, hey, it's a small locomotive, so why not change it to something cuter and suitable? So in the end, Betty ended up chase, changing to Betsy, as he thought that it was, quote, Americanized and would fit quite well. In the Railroads Online lore, Betsy is purchased off of a plantation in Louisiana and was named after the plantation's founder, Betsy B. Bollinger. She was treated roughly on said fictional plantation, and so I immediately purchased her and took a liking to her, vowing to treat her better on the FCNA. These days, Betsy works as the head pilot at Kellenberger Railway Yards and Watamas Junction, and occasionally runs multiple light log trains from Grand Coam Station over to the logging camp at Logsville. Now for a short running session and a, de and a demonstration of the sounds that Betsy makes. Here is Betsy's whistle performing the crossing grade sequence. what her bell sounds like. And she's actually running low on firewood, so I'll just get some more in her. This is what the inside of her cab looks like. 
Up at the front is her regulator, with her reverser and brake slightly off to the right. This here is the button, well, the lever for the cylinder cocks, and a couple of hand valves which are non-interactive. There's also a functioning pressure gauge and a stack of firewood, just in case you need wood on the go. Here's a full 360 view of Betsy. And now I will run her up and down the Colm Station track so that you can see her in action. is at 100%, Betsy only moves at 12 miles an hour maximum. She has very fast acceleration and can go up to 15. Now for a few more technical specifications regarding her capacity. Betsy has a water capacity of 800 units, and she also has the smallest drivers out of any locomotive in the game, thus meaning she has a very high tractive effort, although not as high when compared to something like the Climax or the, the Lima, or even the new locomotive that's going to be added in the winter update. This video is being recorded prior to the winter update, by the way. So that's Betsy the Porter, engine number one of not just the Furnace Carden Atlantic Railroad, but all Railroads Online saves built upon Pine Valley. Stay tuned for the next locomotive showcase, when I'll discuss the Montezuma. I'll see you all next time on Brio Boy 2009 and remember, keep your friends close and your trains closer whether they be Porters or Brunos. Betsy, would you mind saying goodbye to the viewers?